Lorette Jemser is an Indonesian Dutch retired actress, model, and costume designer born on October 5, 1950. She is primarily known for her work in Italian erotic cinema, most notably the Emmanuel series. Many of her films were collaborations with directors Joe D'Amato and Bruno Mattei. Jemser left Indonesia in 1955, at the age of four, and moved with her parents to the Netherlands. She grew up in the Dutch city of Utrecht, where she attended the Mulo Regentesischel High School. After that, she attended the Arty Bus Art School in Utrecht, where she specialized in fashion design. These are my top 10 movies for Lorette Jemser. At number 10. Endgame, 1983. In the year 2025, a nuclear holocaust has left New York City an irradiated, but not abandoned, wasteland. The ruined city is inhabited now by scavenger packs and telepathic mutants, who are persecuted by the elite survivors. Keeping the people pacified is the reality television program Endgame, where hunters and gladiators fight to the death. At number 9. Voglia Dyguarder, 1986. Christina is a wealthy heiress living a life of luxury and lovers. Late one night, she is kidnapped by a gang of all-female paramilitary terrorists hoping to hold her for ransom. After befriending one of her captors, she manages to escape with the aid of a mysterious smuggler. At number 8. And Give Us Our Daily Sex, 1979. A pair of sexy bisexual nurses live in an apartment building, one floor up from a middle-aged couple and their son Albert, who is busy putting his new science project, a periscope, to good use by spying on the lingerie-wearing lovelies. Meanwhile, Albert's mother is being even naughtier than her precious boy, sneaking off for some extramarital action, while her hair-obsessed husband is at the salon, having his follicles tended to. At number 7. Women's Prison Massacre, 1983. Emmanuel, a reporter, comes just a little too close to exposing a corrupt official and is sent to prison on trumped-up charges. In the prison, the inmates are constantly humiliated and tortured by the prison staff. Overly affectionate prisoners are forced underwater, while others are obliged to look on. Emmanuel finds an enemy in the deranged Albina, who runs the prison. For the pleasure of the warden, Emmanuel and Albino are forced to fight each other with knives. Bad becomes worse when four men awaiting execution escape and take over the prison. Gore flows like water. At number 6. Love Camp, 1981. The young daughter of a U.S. senator is drawn into a hippie-free love cult called the Children of Light by the blonde boyfriend of the cult's leader, a mysterious and beautiful Asian woman. The cult turns out to be not quite the free love community it presents itself to be. At number 5. Violence in a Women's Prison, 1982. Undercover reporter Emmanuel poses as a prostitute in order to expose a prison's human rights violations. She's shocked at the brutal treatment of inmates, but things get worse when the prison warden discovers Emmanuel's true identity. At number 4. Erotic Nights of the Living Dead, 1980. A sailor takes an American businessman and his girlfriend to an island where the businessman wants to build a resort. Soon a weird voodoo couple shows up and warns them of bad things that are going to happen. It doesn't take long for the zombies to show up and start chowing down on human flesh. The main characters do manage to fit in quite a bit of sex though. At number 3. Black Cobra Woman, 1976. Judas, a wealthy playboy living in Hong Kong, is obsessed with snakes. His apartment is full of them, and he treats them as if they were his children. One night Judas's brother persuades him to accompany him to see a dance act at a nightclub. Judas is astounded to see that the act consists of a beautiful Asian woman who dances nude while holding a python. He is immediately smitten and winds up hiring her to take care of his snakes while he's away on business. However, things start to take a sinister turn. At number 2. Smooth Velvet, Raw Silk, 1976. Those fabulous Emmanuel girls are back in an epic of sensational sin in the desert paradise of pleasure and pain, a glamorous fashion model and a free-spirited beauty surrender themselves to complete sexual ecstasy. But will an unhinged holy man now lead these new lovers, as well as their friends and even family members, into the most shockingly immoral acts imaginable? At number 1. Sister Emmanuel, 1977. Emmanuel has renounced her life of lust to become a cloistered nun. 
But when she is assigned to a remote convent school for wayward girls, this delectable bride of Christ will face temptations that include a teenage nymphomaniac, a horny escaped criminal, and a class fill of curious virgins eager to experience sins of the flesh. Can Emmanuel resist the erotic pleasures of her past, or will she break her vows and surrender to the ultimate orgy of unholy desire? Hey there folks, thank you for watching to the very end. Please always stay tuned, subscribe, like, and share to your friends. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time.